about who we are as a community, and it's our problem. This is our issue. And it stems from everybody who's living in an animal right now. We have some sort of an, an attachment or connection to what it is that's going on. And so I really want to acknowledge that there's some young people in the crowd today, and I think that's fantastic. And I think if we look at what is the root of addiction, it comes from a lot of trauma-informed practice, a lot of trauma-informed work that we're doing. And uh, it comes rooted right from when that child is conceived that we need to be loving these children in the community. And so somewhere along the line, people in our communities have experienced some sort of loss or hurt that has gotten them to the point where they are using. This is not something about whether they're educated enough to not be using. It's not something about what the family systems are necessarily doing or not doing, and not even what the health authority is doing or not doing. It's what we as a community, how we're being kind to one another, how it is that we're giving role in communities to our children, to our pregnant women, to our adults, to our youth, to our elders. It's a completely interconnected system that we're all a part of. So I really want to acknowledge everyone for being here today because we all have a role in what it is that we're doing to, it, to uh, create some awareness and start to minimize, uh, min, uh, sorry, start to break down some of these barriers with the people that are active in addiction and facing problems with their families that are active in addiction. So traditionally, our teaching is uh, with First Nations people, and I think with everybody it relates to everybody having a role in family and everyone having a role in community. What are the roles of these people that are hurting in community? What is it that, what is the value that they are being shown or brought to in community? That's our responsibility. And so by shining a light on where we can be putting our resources to meet the needs of these people when they're in pain, yes, they might not be able to show up for programs. Yes, they might not be able to show up for treatment or detox. We need to be meeting our individuals where they're at. And that's how we can give service with kindness and start to make some change. day of action on overdose dose crisis with uh, my friend Caitlin who is a street nurse in Nanaimo BC. Um, Caitlin if you could teach the public or any naysayers anything about harm reduction what would that be? I think for me what people don't realize is that harm reduction happens every day. Everybody practices harm reduction all the time and I really think that people need to embrace it like every time we get in a car we put our seatbelt on before driving or wearing a helmet when we go for bikes or getting the flu shot yearly telling our kids to look both ways before crossing the street um, I think it's just really important that everybody realize that we are all in this together and that everybody is part of this community everybody's together and it's it's not going to change nothing's going to happen if we realize that drug users um, are also part of that community and need our support as well. Thank you, that's very well said. Um, I'm wondering if you can share any strategies you might have for frontline workers in the community, how they can increase, increase awareness or kind of spread the word as well. Um, I think it's really important as frontline workers that you also embody and embrace harm reduction practice as a human and that, um, that you really just walk the walk. It's, it's always about engaging people through education. So even people that don't believe in harm reduction, they probably just don't know about it. They don't know all the different strategies. They only hear in the news that harm reduction is IV drug use and handing out clean supplies, but they don't know the full spectrum of harm reduction and that things like housing or giving up food are also included in that spectrum and that it's, it's, it's about education, it's about acceptance, and it's about awareness. It's not about shunning people because they practice harm reduction. It's not about shunning people because they don't. It's about realizing as a healthcare provider that every step you take makes a difference in this community. Thank you. You're the best. All right, you heard it here from Caitlin Adair, a street nurse in Nanaimo, BC. And we're about to march, so over and out.